one day, I said to my wife, one day I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna tell you I'm on screen print and I want you to tell me, absolutely not. And I'm gonna tell you, no, 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 but here's why it makes sense. And when I tell you that, again, you have to say, absolutely do not do this. I started the company uh, when I was in college. I went to the University of Washington in 1999 and started printing shirts for fraternity stories, et cetera. And because such a focus was on t-shirts, um, we've now started printing our own shirts and bringing that piece of our business in-house. Yeah, we've, we've grown a lot since then. We've been in this location for four years and we now have the three autos. Uh, we're running two shifts. We just opened our second location in Ohio uh, and we have one auto there, one manual and, and a sprint. Basically the same startup that we did here. We invest in our employees and we try to train them and we, we try to support them and have them grow with us because experience, if it stays here, is always beneficial to your efficiencies and the end result of what you're trying to do. Now what we're doing is we're finding people and we're training people into our process and our expectations. We call it the five levels and it is a a progression through the skills that are needed in this shop to produce, you're getting some on-press time, you're getting some garment handling time, you're getting some screens and ink time. And at that point, by the time you've been doing that, we're able to usually identify people who kind of get it and are able to, you know, devote their time and energy to making a print better than just throwing it in and try locking it. You know, we're trying to find ways to make this whole process more um, efficient. I think some of the equipment we bought obviously shows that that's a focus on the direction that we are going. So in addition to just our production equipment, we also have the Unicote and we have the Eco Rinse and we have the eye image in there so that the, the dark room is able to be basically manned by you know one person that used to used to take like three people to do that. And so we've we focused on making a lot of efficiency changes to, to make growth more possible. That's why you know we bought basically every efficient machine that you guys basically offer. Like we, ha we have everything because clearly these things save time. I mean, they make a huge difference and so we can focus on how do we actually make an awesome t-shirt? How does the shirt come out better? How can we focus on some new specialty stuff? The presses work. Part of the reason we print is for the control. Part of it's because I want to really understand when such a large portion of our business is t-shirts, I need a better idea of what's going on. So how can we design the shirt better? How's the shirt going to turn out? What questions can we ask? How can we know what's happening? We started out by using uh, a lot of tablets and things and we have a custom back end built by our tech team and all of our scheduling and all of our proofing is all done through this custom interface and we have attached uh, tablets and monitors to every workstation. So we're able to, to have live updates and communication at each press and station. I've been screen printing since I was 14. I've worked at a, multiple different shops. One of the last shops I worked at had a lot of odds and ends equipment. And the ones that needed the least amount of repair and maintenance were the M&R equipment. So when it came time for us to purchase equipment, I immediately started looking at M&R and contacting M&R and talking to them and you know assessing our needs with with the current state of equipment that, that M&R had at the time. And, and we have always looked at what, what new things are coming out, but the fact that we have you know, the smaller eight color up to the, the larger 16 color, we can train people on the eight color and move them up to the 16 color quickly because even though there are slight differences, it's all the same basic operation. And, and the fact that we have an eye image and the tri-lock system and, and uh, the pneumatic clamps on the manual we can move any of our screens between presses and we can train people between equipment very quickly because it all has a lot of the same, same operational procedures. So m and is definitely key to how we've been able to grow as we have.